Well, days after a deadly flooding swept through Hamilton County, a family returns to the home they evacuated. Tonight, James Torres shows us the conditions the family is now forced to live in. James joins us now live in Chattanooga. James. Well, Josh and Kim, I'm standing in front of a pond here throughout these trees, and a family says whenever this floods, it creeps inside their home. They say it's not the first time this has happened, but it became especially bad during last week's storms. Tonight, the family says they've had enough. Walk around Yokita McGraw's home. You'll see fans in every room and floors without flooring. Right in here, right where the power is. She says that's because high floods invaded her house. 23 houses from this subdivision, water goes into this stormwater retention pond that's on our uh, property. McGraw says this pond always floods when it rains, causing her house to flood. It was especially bad during last week's deadly flash flooding. When it comes in, it's rushing in and there's no way to stop it. McGraw says she and her family spent the last few nights in a hotel because of the damage, and her daughter says her room on the bottom floor washed out. Most of my shoes are gone, um, and everything that was in my closet, you know, that was in my, uh, in my closet, I had to go through it. Whatever was wet, I just threw it out. The family spent the weekend getting everything wet outside of their house and making sure it's as clean as can be. That's always a concern for me as a mom. Um, because I don't want my kids to get sick, you know, and later on in life, find out that, uh, <laughs> find out, you know, they have some type of serious illness dealing with the mold. So I just try to make sure that it's clean and it's safe for my kids. McGraw thinks the retention pond is to blame and wants to know if there is anything she can do to prevent the next flood. That way she can get rid of the fans and not the floors. And McGraw says that she plans to take this issue up to the county commissioner during their weekly meeting on Wednesday morning. She says she just wants to know what her options are when it comes to figuring out a solution. Right now, we're live in Chattanooga. I'm James Torres, News Channel 9. James, thank you. McGraw does have fundraisers online to help with the cost of damage. You can find those on our website, newschannel9.com.